what's up everybody welcome back to another video on Deca City I'm your host to Casanova today I'm bringing you another video on the transformation of Deca City this is transformation number two in the series so what I'm going to be doing is working on this building here in my city and transforming it from the cobblestone into some stone and concrete and like I said in the first transformation video the colors that I have for the buildings are what I'm going to be using the concrete color of and so this is I've gotten some scaffolding set up already that way you guys didn't have to watch me do all that and everything so let's get started all right so what I'm gonna be doing is breaking down a lot of the cobblestone and replacing it like I did with the first one Hope you guys uh, will stick with my videos and hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. And also with the, the roof, I think what I'm going to do instead of just doing blocks, I think I actually might uh, convert the blocks into steps. I think that will also help keep mobs from spawning on top of the buildings. Because I think it's slabs and steps that uh, mobs can't spawn on. So I'm going to start with the corner here, break this all the way down to ground level. And I'm going to fill this in with regular stone. And I'm not going to do stone on all the buildings. It'll be mix and match, so I'll probably do some quartz blocks with some other ones and mix it up a lot with different uh, types of stones so so hopefully you guys will stick with the the series and see the transformation of all the different buildings I'm doing all right this one I went a little too high so break that one down all right um, let's take this corner down here And a lot of the buildings that I've built are just shells for the most part. So I think eventually down the line, I might actually do some decorating in them. But since I've been so busy doing a lot of other stuff in in the world that I've just gotten sidetracked with filling in the buildings. So we will see how that all goes. Oops. Punch it through the, the floor. <laughs> Fill that hole in there. Alright. Sorry, it's a, it's a little laggy. In my main city here, it gets pretty laggy when I'm in this area. Probably because of all the redstone I have. And just with everything that's built in, in the city. I, I do have a ginormous underground uh, sorting system which has a ton of redstone connected to it so that might be one of the, the major problems alright so with this building I'm doing the cyan color so we're gonna place a couple here just so I have an idea of where my wall areas are gonna be one here I might change that later we'll see how it looks it's basically testing and see what looks good what doesn't look good and as I go along and if there's something I don't like I'll I'll change it all right I'll put some concrete through here Alright, so we've got those two walls kind of set up. Alright, let's jump on the scaffolding and go up here. And let's take down this corner here. Since this is the main central point of the, of the building. Because that's the high point. We want that to look good. Alright, we're down to ground level. 
Stack this back up. So again, let me uh, let me know what you guys think of the series in the comments below. I really appreciate any comments and love to hear your feedback. Let me know if you guys enjoy these videos or not. I know I don't have a ton of subscribers, but it'd be nice to get a few more subscribers if you guys enjoy my videos. Like I said in the first one, I do this for fun. It's not it's not a career. I'm not looking for outrageous number of subscribers but it's good to find people that enjoy my builds and and appreciate the the work that I've put into this world and and I would really like to hear your feedback all right so I'm gonna do some steps across here like I was saying earlier I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the roof out of steps this time so that way I can hopefully keep mobs from spawning on top of the buildings. Oh, oh! <laughs> Forgot to crouch. Good thing I have a feather falling on my armor and stuff. <laughs> Take less of an impact when I'm falling. Oh, the scaffolding is way too high. <laughs> Let's take this down a little bit. Alright, that's a lot better. Okay. Let's connect this here. And remove this. There we go. Put another row here. Also, if there's tutorials or things that you guys like to watch, um, also put those in the comments below. I'll try to make uh, some videos of those on my free time. I do work full time, so I do this for fun and when I have some time to do it. So let me know what you guys think. Alright, we'll do another row of steps going up on the, the roof here. Bring this around. I think this is going to be another good transformation. Definitely <laughs> will be a, a better view than looking at cobblestone over and over and over again. Alright. Alright, got that one. Okay, let's... Just getting these areas started because I don't think I brought enough steps with me. Okay, and then I'll put regular stone blocks here. We'll go up two. And let's grab a torch. There we go. That'll light up the, the peak of the building. Now that we got that part set up, clear out this cobblestone and so I've got seven steps left so I'll just use what I have left and then I'll have to get some more but we'll fill this in oh that was enough to cover that area cool so I'll take these down That'll help finish off the roof and taking the cobblestone down. That way it can work on breaking down some of the walls now. So what I'm going to do is the ones that go all the way down the ground, I'm going to work my way down that way. That way it'll be a straight shot coming back up. Now 
take these out because I think I'm gonna do like I did. Uh, or I haven't done that yet, but uh, what I'm gonna do is put stone where the windows are on the sides. I mean, oops, let me take this one down. <laughs> I can't jump two blocks. Okay, now with this one I can go all the way up to the, the top. Actually, let me take one down because I think what I'm going to do is across here put stone blocks. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in a couple areas. Still got some more work to do. Uh, didn't want to. I had to do some editing. Didn't want to bore you guys with <laughs> my miscellaneous mistakes. So, so here I'm going to put stone across. And just have the centers on all four sides be the cyan color. So these ones that I can reach right off the ground level, I'm just going to fill these in here with the stone. There we go, just like that. Do two more over on the side. I can line it up right. <laughs> Moving around too much. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop here and then I'm going to do some filling in and taking down a lot of cobblestone. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Alright guys, I am back. I did uh, a lot of destruction. I took a lot of the cobblestone out. Those, these are going to be the areas that I'm going to be filling in with concrete and stone. I'm going to leave the floors as uh, cobblestone just because I don't want to have to go through and <laughs> change all that. But these areas I'm going to fill in with the, the cyan color my way up to the top here oh got stopped by an area that I already kind of filled in so the reason why I'm using concrete is because I really like the texture of it it's more of a solid color doesn't have a whole lot of uh, different texture that stands out a lot from a distance whereas with the terracotta it has a lot of uh, designs in it uh, kind of offsets it but I will be using the terracotta in some of the other transformation videos after I get through doing the ones that I want to do with concrete and that way it'll offset the buildings a little bit and add some character to them and I might also do some wool because there are some that are a good solid color most of them, because I am using the city texture pack, they have some weird designs in them. So I'm not sure if I want to use those, but I might just mess around with them and see how they they look and see if that's something that I really want to do. So just working my way up to the top, trying to fill in areas. There are a few spots that I miss along the way, but that's okay. I can still go through and, and get to those and fill them in. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, give me some feedback if you like the the series. I'm going to continue to go along with the series and add more videos as I continue to transform my city into a new updated version. And let your friends know if, if you like my videos, tell them about them so they can see them. I'm not looking to make money off of this. This is just something I do in my fun time. Um, I do appreciate having 
subscribers and and things like that. I really like knowing if people like my videos, if they enjoy them, what kind of things I can work on to make them better. Because I, I work full time, so I do this as a as a fun free time thing to do. And so let me know what you guys think. I'm going to continue making videos anyways, but it's always good to hear uh, your input. So we're getting closer and closer to getting the side walls filled up to the top. This one's more of a medium building, so this one won't take as long. I think in some of the other videos, I, I probably won't spend as much time uh, filling in areas. Unless that's something that you guys like watching, if you guys like watching me build. Because this is a full survival world, so it does take me a, a little while to get things together. Cause it, whereas with creative, you can just fly around and put stuff wherever you want. In survival, it's a little bit <laughs> more difficult because you actually have to get into the areas to fill them in and climb and move around <laughs> but that's the type that I like to do I like doing the survival just because uh, I guess you could say it's a pride thing you know knowing that I worked hard in putting this all together I have been working on this city since the beginning of 2013 and it's just been fun and doing these recreations and modifying these old buildings that I that I built way back is really exciting for me because just seeing the way that I can how the city used to be and now the way that it's changing and getting better is exciting to me because it's expanding my imagination and my creativity in making things look a lot better because when I did start this it was cobblestone and dirt and, and everything and I I didn't really have a clue of what I was doing I was kind of messing around and with the cobblestone and a lot of the buildings are just squares but that was the beginning now that I have a bigger imagination of what I can do on here, this transformation is making it a lot better. So we're getting closer and closer here. I don't know. I think um, one of the things that I, I will do let me put some lighting in here first so we can light this up. But one of the things I'm going to do with this tower, because this is the uh, Master's Crafting Tower, this is going to have like crafting tables, cutting stones, uh, fletching tables if they ever get those to work, and we'll have smithing tables if they get those to work. And I think that'll be really good. And do some an well. This is the crafting, so we probably won't do anvils because that's more of like enchanting and things like that. So, but I might throw a few anvils in here because you do have to repair tools. So that is pretty much crafting. So, I I, I think I will do some anvils in here as well. And that might be on a continuation after I maybe get further along in the transformation videos maybe I'll go back and actually start doing a series where I decorate the buildings that have been transformed I think that'll be really good let me know what you think in the comments let me know if that's a good idea bad idea thumbs up thumbs down things like that give me your input So now it's getting dark on us. I'm lighting up the area. Kind of get rid of some of these torches that I've collected when I was taking the building down. 
Now let's work on this front area. This is the entry point. So let's grab the banners and the sign. Place a banner here and here. And I like to put my signs on the right hand side because usually when you're walking up to a building, your focus kind of goes towards the right side. So that's why I put my signs on the right. Okay, so this is gonna be Master's Crafting Tower. So let's put that in here. Sorry, I wasn't using my keyboard, so I just <laughs> had to shift through the letters with the, the joystick. All right, so that's the entry point. And there will be borders that go around the upper and lower areas. All right, so I'm out of steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cut some steps. And then I'm going to work my way up to the roof and finish that area off. So we'll do a few stacks here. And actually for good measure, because I do have to do a lot of the borders, let's do another stack. Just so I don't have to come back over here. All right, so I'm going to put a couple, I'm going to fill in this, these corners along the area. And then I'm going to work my way up to the roof. So far so good. All right, I will be right back after I do some modifications. Stay tuned. Okay, so I made my way up to the roof. Now that I have my steps, I'm going to finish this off so I don't have to worry about this anymore. That'll be one less thing to focus on. That way I can focus more on the lower part of the building and getting that finished. All right, and that'll take care of that part. Okay, so now that we've got that area done, let's remove some of the scaffolding. There we go, get that out of the way. Hmm. I do think that a little bit later, I might actually remove some of those windows. Windows are good. I like windows because you can see a lot out of them, but when you're trying to make a, look, a building look good, some things just need to be changed. And since this is a transformation video, we're going to make changes. So as you can tell, I did some of the filling in of the bottom and making that border go around. So now what I'm going to do is go up here. Let's do some more modifications. Let's take the let's take some of this down. Grab my shulker box here, and I'm going to take out these windows just because I think having the concrete go all the way up to the roof is going to be a much better look. Yeah, I like that. I think that turned out really well. All right, Take my way back to the bottom. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the that area. So let's take these down here. Collect all my scaffolding. That was a 
<laughs> delay in, in the reaction of the game. Alright, I think this is looking really well. So far, so good. Alright, let's take a look, walk through and just double check everything. Make sure I got areas that I need to fill in and now we'll take care of this one. Make this a solid concrete. Yeah. I like it. This could be like a wizard's tower, you know? The wizard gets the top floor. <laughs> Because wizards like to craft. Alright, let's take a look out here. Kind of walk around the building. Make sure I got everything. Let's see if there's something that I want to change. This is turning out really nice. Now we have another building in transformation. Okay guys, so there are a couple parts that I don't like about the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate some of the things up at the top because the top looks a little empty. So I will be right back. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I don't want to bore you too much with uh, going up to the top and building all that so I'm just gonna show you what I did so up there I added another ledge and I recreated the roof a little bit I changed uh, some of the blocks around that way the the ledge would tie in really well and I think that ledge up there really adds more character to the building so this right here is a good transformation. I am happy with the way that this turned out. With that upper ledge, it doesn't look so bare. And I'm really happy. Let me know what you guys think. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you really feel. Let me know if you like these transformation videos. And I'm going to continue to make some more. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more. And don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button. Laters. Till next time. We're all together.